What's up, folks? Quick story time here. Okay. Now, Sunday, I don't work on Sundays. That's my day. My family, do some shopping, get some odds and ends done. I work six days. You guys probably know that. Maybe you don't. But anyway, I work Monday through Saturday. Sunday, I take off, okay? So, Sunday, I go to Walmart. Me and my wife, I got to get this, I got to get that. It's a little odds and ends. We're going to just bounce around a little bit, you know? Um, so now I'm going through the store. I'm having a great time with bullshit and, you know, this and that. I'm looking at a little grave digger, um, like the, the monster truck that they sell. I want to get it for my grandson. The thing is like sick, man. It's, it's huge. I don't know how he's going to drive it, but he'll manage. He's just not even two yet. But I want to get him that. We're looking at that. I'm looking at the box. I'm like, yeah, well, we could buy it now. But where we, this thing's a monster, man. I got to try and get it home. Now, the Walmart's pretty close to my house. There's two Walmarts. There's one in the town next to me, which is very close. And then there's another one that's in the same town I live in, but it's further. The pain in the ass, but it's a nicer Walmart, you know what I mean? Whatever. So we do our thing, go do our shopping. And I'm online. Now, the lines are ridiculous, which I don't understand. You're making all this money. You're the richest family in the world, you know, bar none besides the Rothschilds. And you can't have enough registers open so people don't have to stand online for like a half hour, you know? Okay. Besides the point. I'm on the line and the line kind of is like curving sideways and then it's going toward the registers, if you know what I mean. So I'm just about to make the curve. I kind of, or damn, plane just went over my head. Wow. That was crazy, man. I don't know if you saw that. Anyway, man, that thing sounded like a freight train. You guys hear that? I shouldn't be so shocked. I've been driving on this Grand Central Parkway for the last, you know, 40 years. And it never shocked me. But anyway, whatever. So, I'm on the line, right? And this lady decides that she's going to cut me and pretend that she doesn't know that she's cutting me. Now, anyone out there knows what I'm talking about. She's going to do the old squeeze in in front of me you know like we're pulling up to a you know like we're we're in traffic or something no sorry there's a line here you don't just you know and then the best part is she's she's gonna pretend she doesn't know like she's not gonna say anything you know she's not now she's not gonna look anywhere she's just looking like away from me like straight ahead you know you're online you look around you know you're looking at all oh, bubble gum maybe i'll get something for the kids or you know whatever you know look at this uh, a battery i could use a battery you know you're looking around you you're not like keeping your head straight because you know you did something wrong. You know that body language where you know, like you know what the fuck you're doing. You know, don't, don't play it off. All right. So I look at my wife. I go, this is why I don't blend well in society at all. I just, I just don't. It's just, you know, listen, man, you're cool with me. I'm cool with you. But shit like that. I think I did a video like three, four videos ago where I knocked the guy out and dumped tranny fluid over his head for this. Yeah, I was 17 when that happened. I'm not going to do that now, okay? I'm just, you know, believe me, I'm not backing down. I'm fighting anywhere, but I'm not I'm not looking to start trouble. Especially Walmart's got about 75,000 cameras, and I'd probably be on uh, News 12 Long Island. Crazy man, gets into fight online. I, I really don't need to be that guy, you know? Anyway, so my wife, I look at my wife, and I say that. I go, this is why I, I, I can't, you know, I can't be in society. This is just fucking out of control. So, she just looks at me. She knows. She's like, Jesus Christ, this guy's going to fucking kill somebody. And she says, let me get in front of you. So, I just follow her lead. I'm like, okay. So, she gets in front of me. And now, now as crazy as it sounds, the lady's going to realize right from wrong now that my wife maneuvers in front of her. And she says to my wife, you, you're behind me. You're not supposed to go in front of me. You're behind me. You're behind me. My wife goes, no, no, no. I, now I pipe and I go, let, let me just explain something to you, okay? You could do that maybe to somebody else that might take it. I said, but I'm online here 10 minutes, okay, waiting here. You would know where to be found. And now you just magically don't realize it and you just try to weasel your little way in front of me and little, little, your weaselly little steps. I go through this. I don't know what it is. If I have cut me, I'm a fucking asshole written all over my face. I really don't think I do, but it happens to me a lot. 
every time I get out of the fucking car to go into a store. And I always say something. I don't let anybody get away with that. Because I don't do it. I get on the back of the fucking line like a human being. Not like a fucking piece of shit that's pretending that they don't know what the fuck they're doing is wrong. So, she, I said, no, no. I've been here 10 minutes, okay? And I am not getting caught by anybody. It's not how You're not going to pretend that you don't realize that you just caught me. It ain't happening. Wrong guy. It, it ain't happening. So now, I see her husband walk up. I said, this is going to get interesting. So I look at him and I said, you guys are together? I said, let me just let me just explain something to you, okay? I'm here on the line. She comes over and cuts me. And I'm not having it. Do you understand? I'm not the guy that takes shit. I said, I got a mental problem or something that I just can't take shit from people. I, got, I had a great day here in Walmart. Until I get cut over here by whoever this is, okay? And it ain't happening. You understand what I'm saying? You follow? You follow what I'm saying? I'm just that guy that just doesn't take shit. You understand what I'm saying? He's like, he knew what time it was because I was just, flames must have been shooting out of my fucking ears. And you know, I'll go to jail over something like that rather than be some sucker asshole that gets fucking abused. As dumb as it might sound, I just, I just can't take shit. I'm the nicest motherfucker you ever want to meet. If the lady would have said, you know, I only have one thing. Do you, mind? you know how many times I said, go. What are you? I'm going to be here for fucking 10 minutes ringing shit up. I got a bunch of shit here. Go. What do I care? Don't worry about it. Have a great day. Thanks for asking. I, I appreciate your ask. Be my guest. And I probably end up talking to the lady and having a great conversation with her on the line. You know what I mean? That's the way I am. I'm not a fucking asshole. But I'm not getting fucking abused. So now I'm sitting there. And she's got like this fucking puss on. Like, I'm wrong. Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I look at my wife. I said, I got to come out on a fucking Sunday. And got my blood's got to boil on a Sunday when I'm trying to relax at 12 noon on a Sunday. My blood's got to fucking boil. So then I start getting crazy. She looks at me and goes, enough. There are kids here. And I look around and there's little kids in the thing. I'm, the guy in front of me, nice guy, said, bro. I apologize. I said, I didn't know you had kids in the car. I didn't see past you and your wife. I said, I, I shouldn't be getting like this. I said, I, I apologize. He's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. But this is how dumb shit happens out there. Be a fucking human being. Don't cut the fucking line like an asshole and expect some guy to be a fucking sucker and not fucking say anything. Wrong. Wrong fucking guy. And I hope all you guys are the same way. You fucking stand up for yourself. I said it in many of my videos. You fucking stand up for yourself. Even my wife was not taking shit. My wife's not looking for trouble. She ain't taking shit either. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to run this guy over that I know from the junkyard. Hold on. Come here. You're going to be on my video. This is Bartolo. Don't ever get your body. Oh! <laughs> Don't get your body work done by him. He's a scumbag. No, this guy does the best body work down here in Shea Stadium. Like, comment. He's the best. Like, comment, subscribe. Maricon. Yeah, Maricon. Maricon, Mato. you. Tu madre, so Maricon.